Hello, Internet, and welcome to another Wednesday Serial. Um, I am really bummed right now. I just did a whole recording, and uh, Windows Movie Maker fucking ate it. Um, I was trying to just set a few images and just talk over it real quick, um, trying to do something different visually, and it only took the audio recording up to where the few images I laid would have taken as far as the timeline. So that's a bummer, man. Um, I know there's another way to do it using another tool. I'm just going to do what I normally do here because uh, the whole point was to try to do it quickly. Uh, so uh, Damien asked me to take a look at Mr. Miracle and I did so and I have the following thoughts. So my, I, I wanted to put up that picture because that was one page from the comic and exemplifies a few different things and most everything I wanted to talk about in that one page. Um, the first off is, as you saw, it is the grid. Um, I do like that in comics. That was good to see. Um, a good use of the grid in a comic form. I like it when it's used to the artistic measure of it being a comic book. I do not like it when it's used as you normally see in something like The Walking Dead where it's effectively a storyboard. Um, that is not as engaging. Pretty simple. Um, the other main thing is, is there's kind of casual abuse of our character. They punch him and tell him to get up and he does and it's like a punishment for something. Uh, I, I didn't really get what. Um, I feel like for us to hook or empathize or do anything, we need more on that, and it could well be coming, but we do not know yet, and honestly, that kept me from engaging or trying to read into this book in any way, because that's such a crucial thing, and I don't know, just kind of miss me. Um... So that happens a few times throughout the book. Uh, it's an interesting component, but I think it's odd. Um, we get a lot of play with the idea of him being an escape artist. What is he escaping from? Again, I feel like that ties into that violence theme. Uh, yeah. The other main component is um, there are these frames that are black that say Dark Side is. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be some play with that at some point, obviously. Um, but those frames are used like a pacing mechanism throughout as they kind of build in tempo throughout. And um, they're slotted through. And I think that's interesting. It, it creates a beat for the comic in a way that I haven't seen done before. So it's cool to see small new techniques being used. Um, and I think that's engaging. Um, I think as far as this being a comic for comic book people, um, that's, it's really cool to see something like that coming out. Um, but I just don't feel like there's a ton of meat on the bones here yet to really dig into what it is or what it means. I think this is going to be a great read when it's said and done, whether or not it's actually, you know, some masterpiece or whatnot. I think it's, uh, there's enough here and enough craft and enough thought to say that this should be for good or ill, something interesting to read. There, there's, even if it fails on something it's trying to accomplish, the fact that it's attempting on the level that it is makes it more interesting than your average read. Um, so that's engaging. But whether or not I could really recommend it, obviously, I don't know. And this is part of the reason I've been steering clear of trying to talk about single issues as much. Um, they just they don't feel like products. They don't feel like anything substantial. And I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. I, I'd be curious to see more, but this really just feels like a section of a story, which it is. It's one of whatever. And that's nice. But yeah, I, I would just like I would just like a little more, and it, it, it's hard to get around the fact that you pay so much for something that does not stand on its own. It's not its own work, and it's not really tied to anything, which is fine. It's great. That's more of what I want to see in comics, but man, I don't know. I'm getting old, and that stuff's hitting me a little more. So, yeah. 
that's all I have to say on Mr. Miracle so far. Um, I'd be curious to see and hear what you guys are reading and thinking about, so drop me a line, and hopefully I'll catch y'all soon with another comic review.